Hi everyone, uh, do you need to know Illustrator to be a UX designer in Adobe XD? Uh, I'm gonna tell you in a second. Dun, dun, dun. Even if you are an experienced Illustrator user, hang around for this video because I'm going to show you, I'm gonna start with just some easy stuff about the differences between using and drawing in Adobe XD and Adobe Illustrator, okay? And I'm gonna show you some, towards the end, I'm gonna show you some of the issues that come up when you are kind of going from one to the other. If you have no idea what Adobe Illustrator is, it's just another program that Adobe does. It specializes in drawing and illustration and really good at typography. We're going to draw some shapes like this, bring it in from Illustrator to XD. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, to answer the first question, do you need to know Adobe Illustrator to be a UX designer? The answer is no. Uh, it is a useful tool and probably a next stage for you after this course if you really enjoy this part of the UX process. So the actual UI design, the actual making things, drawing buttons and icons. There are only so far you can get with Adobe XD. It's got enough and you can get good at it, but there will be just times where you can't do things. XD is made for rapid prototyping, not for a full illustration. So that's where Illustrator might come in useful for you. I use it all the time in my process. Let me give you a couple of quick for instances. So I'm in Adobe Illustrator, okay? Um, you'll see that it has some of the tools like, uh, like there's the pen tool, there's a rectangle tool, okay? And I'm gonna draw that coffee cup like you saw at the beginning. So there's a lot of similarities, which is nice. So I've got this rectangle, okay? Oh, look, the same little dots. Okay, so a lot of it's the same. Okay, so I'm gonna design my little coffee cup. So we're kind of rounded at the top and shift click these bottom ones and drag those up. There you go, there's a coffee cup. Where it gets different is, well actually, where it's the same, uh, pen tool. Okay, I'm gonna click and drag out curves for a kind of a handle, <laughs> terrible handle. Okay, uh, I want it to have a fill and not a stroke. I can grab the stroke, move it up. This is not an Illustrator course, I guess. If you do want an Illustrator course, I know a guy. I've got an Essentials and an Advanced course. But where it differs is, let's say that I want to change the stroke to be a kind of a, a, a variable width. Okay, you can't do that in Adobe uh, XD. So you can grab the width tool here in Illustrator and go, bloop. Okay, <laughs> again with the sound effects. Okay, but you can see I can make a variable kind of width. Now we can fancy it up. Um, I guess I wanna show you a couple of the, a couple of the reasons why you might jump out and learn Illustrator. If you've already got skills on this, you might be like, I can draw a coffee cup. <laughs> you can uh, hang around for this video if you are master of Illustrator. There's a couple of little kind of connections between XD and Illustrator. So uh, I'm going to grab my pencil again. I'm going to draw my like little mm, curvy thing. Okay, like meant to be steam coming from my green tea. So uh, again, the width tool. Okay, I can do this like a little bit tiny down the end there. If you haven't used the width tool and you are an Illustrator person, oh, so cool. I love it. And I'm gonna switch my stroke to, not from that first one, that second one, round cap. Ooh, look at that. Okay, and so width tool is one of the ones I like uh, about Illustrator. There's many, this is just a little for instance. Where it gets really cool is different kinds of strokes. So I'm gonna draw uh, kind of a wafty, clicking and dragging for a curve. I don't know, it's probably a bit too tall. Um, again with the sound effects. So something like that, okay. What we can do is instead of just plain old strokes, there is a whole like um, subset of things like brushes, okay. And I'm gonna use just artistic uh, chalk charcoal pencil, okay. And you, well, look at that, looks like a chalk charcoal pencil. Okay, so these are some of the benefits of using Illustrator. Okay, another benefit is when you're dealing with fonts, so, um, let me give you a quick for instance is if I click in this, if I type in cafe, okay, and like I'm going to use my Amatic, what is it? Actually turn my filters off, ignore that. Uh, I've got a font called, I'm using, you've seen it, Amatic. Okay, and I've got this font, okay, but I want that cafe that says, has a little, I can't remember what it's called the thing off the top of the E, okay, that makes it seem fancy in French. Okay, so the glyphs, okay, they're called glyphs, they're under type, a lot of fonts have them, not all of them, this one does, but we can't access all those glyphs in XD, it's not built for a huge amount of typography. Illustrator loves typography, okay, so you can see in here, look at all these extra characters that you're missing out on, okay, in my case, if I hover, select E, there it is there, actually I want the other E, I want the E with the bit, Let's have a look. 
Where's the E with the bit? You wait there. All right, spotted him. Okay, double clicking him, and I got the E with a little dash on it. So glyphs are another handy thing. Gets even fancier. I love glyphs. Glyphs are awesome. They get even fancier when we look at different fonts. Let's look at, got another font. Let's look at this one here. So, Alicia. Okay, this one here has a bunch of glyphs. So I'm gonna close that down. Can you see that? Oh, look at all these juicy ones. Look at this, I want this E at the end. Or is it, he's highlighted there. But look, I can change the end one. Ooh, look at that one. It's like that guy. Look at all the swirls and bits, and you might decide, oh, I don't want a different A. I don't like that A. I'm gonna go for that one. Or, oh, so, because it connects up with a C. Maybe that one. Okay, so you can do some fun stuff. Well, this is the reason why uh, Illustrator might be part of your tool set um, when you are designing in Adobe XD, because you get to access to all this extra stuff. Now, to bring them across, okay, from one to the other, I'm going to. Okay, it's not as pretty as I'd hoped. <laughs> My cup doesn't look as dainty as I thought. It's a bit squat. Uh, anyway, select them all and copy them. And when you bring them across into XD, some things are gonna be still editable and some things aren't. Okay, the things lie, oh, well, let's bring it in. So I'm gonna paste it in and I got this. Okay, I'm going to fill it with one of my colors. Okay, uh, this one. What you'll find is I can double click to go inside still. Okay, and I'm inside this thing. I can double click it again. And look, there's part of my guy. So you can still separate them. You could still work on them. Okay, but let's say this stroke here, this stroke here, look what happened to that. It's in here and I can mess with it. It's just made of all these little pieces. Whereas in Illustrator, okay, it is this one little line that I can use my, in my case, this direct selection tool to select the end and go, yep. So you can do a lot of your editing in Illustrator and then just copy and paste the final result into XD. You can adjust it, okay, and play around with it, but that'd be the process, just copying and pasting. You can be fancier and in here, go to my libraries, find your XD class and go you, zoop, and you can go, well, I'll just copy and paste the font actually. Did that all go in? Let's have a look. Let's go in, let's actually drag it out again. I only got part of my guy in there, so did I grab it all? I'm gonna group it, then put them in. That's better. All right, now in uh, Adobe XD, okay, I'm gonna go, remember, who knows where the libraries are? In that weird place. Assets here, they may move. Okay, and where's my XD, XD class, XD class, there it is there. Cool, and I can say, there you go. That's the official way of bringing it in. Oh, look at that, it lost my little stroke. <laughs> yeah. If that happens to you, uh, we're going a bit too deep into Illustrator. Ah, you might run into this problem. Okay, copy and paste it, then it's fine. It's the same solution that we had in XD when we run into problems. Okay, in here though, it's under object, path, and there's one in there called outline stroke. It fixes all problems. Now jump them in there. Now come back in XD. Going on a tangent, Dan. Artwork three, but it works. Hey, we run into problems, we fix them. Let's look at one last thing is copy and pasting fonts. I can't remember what it does. Bring it across, paste. I think it's just gonna outline it into a shape. It has. Okay, double click it, double click it, double click it. Oh, is it text? Oh, it is editable text, except does it know what to do with that last one? It doesn't. What else ends in E? I can't think of a single word. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, T? <laughs> ah, you put me on the spot. Um, you can see in this case, the bits that were fine, just normal old text, okay, came through fine. This thing, I bet you it's come through as a shape. Look at that. So yeah, it deals with it and it works. Same with this one, I bet. Will the E come through? No, this E is editable. Look at that. That is one of your regular E's. So I can delete that and keep going. So you will find intermittent uh, issues. This one here is, remember, can't think of a word. Come on, Dan. All right, got one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, phew. Um, so it separated the glyphs out from the regular old text, but that's okay, I can work with that. The cool thing about them, even if it is a shape, it's still scalable and it's lovely vector goodness. All right, that is gonna be it. Um, you do not need to know Adobe Illustrator to be a UX designer in Adobe XD, but it's handy. And I know a guy that can teach you. Uh, if you are an experienced Illustrator user, you might wanna check out my advanced Illustrator course. If you're just getting started, check out Essentials. It doesn't have to be mine, but it's a skill you probably want to kind of nurture along the way on your journey.
All right, that is it. I will see you in the next video. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course. There'll be a link in the description. It's called Adobe XD Essentials. There'll be a card up here you can click as well. Uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.